Excel 2007 allows graphics, pictures, and clip art to be imported into a worksheet. Through the Insert tab of your ribbon and in the Illustrations group, you will find the four commands for importing in graphic images into your worksheet. We have the Picture command, the Clip Art command, the Shapes command, as well as Smart Art. Let me go ahead and demonstrate each of these commands. To insert a picture that you already have saved somewhere on your computer system, simply select the Insert Picture from File command up in the Illustrations group. From here you can go ahead and select the picture that you might like to bring in and then click Insert. This will bring the picture in based on its size and formatting and resolution. It could come in quite large, such as the picture you see here. I'll go ahead and decrease my zoom to make this smaller so I can see more of what is going on in my worksheet. Here's my picture, and I'm going to go ahead and move it. And then notice that it has handles on all the corners as well as in the middle of each border. By grabbing the handles, you can resize the picture, and notice again that you will get Get your double arrow tool when you position it on a handle and then click and drag and resize the picture to the size that you might want. There's a picture. Now we also can import in a clip art image and this opens up the clip art pane. And notice that you have some fields here that you can use to help find the clip art that you're looking for. You can search for by typing in a name. You can also designate where you want to search, whether it's everywhere or from your collection or the office collection or even on the web in Microsoft's. Or your results you can limit to being just clip arts or to being photographs, movies, or sound or a combination of all of these. So you you have some means to narrow your search. So let's say I'm looking for dogs. I'll go ahead and click in the search for field and type in dog and then click the go button. This will go out and search for all images of dogs based on my other settings and then when I find the dog that I might want to use within my worksheet, simply select it by clicking it in the window and notice that immediately it appears on your worksheet. Let's go back to our Insert tab and look at the other two commands. And when I select Shapes, notice that it drops down and shows me pre-made shapes that I can use to bring in to my worksheet. I can simply select any one of those that I might like. And notice that now your cursor has turned into a plus sign. And when you click and drag, you will pull out the shape to the size that you might need it. Notice that you can distort it or create it if you hold down your shift key to be a symmetrical shape by holding down shift and dragging. So there's your shapes. And now let's go back to the insert tab and take a look at smart art. When you select the smart art command, notice that it opens up to a list of all various pre-made graphics that are broken down based on category of what they do, such as process. And these are all graphics that can be used to help indicate a process. We have cycle, hierarchy, relationship, matrix, and pyramid. When you select one of these, it will appear over here with some information telling you more about what's going on with this smart art and then you can go ahead and click OK and it will be inserted immediately into your worksheet. Typical of a chart to move the smart art you must first select it by clicking on its border and then with this four arrow tool you can click and drag on the border and move the smart art. Now each of these text fields allow you to type in what your process or your graphic is determining or indicating. So I can go ahead and type in maybe this is phase one and then the next one by clicking in the text field type in phase two and again in the next one clicking phase three and I can finish it off with phase four. And that's a little quick demonstration on how to bring in some of the smart art that's available in Excel. So that is the graphic capability of Excel for bringing in graphics, photos, pictures, and clip art, as well as smart art into your worksheet. Let's go ahead and apply this by opening up our product list. 
You can open up your already created product list that we've been working on throughout the tutorial, or if you'd like to start with a file that reflects the development of the course up to this point, please open up the 1013 Start File, which you'll find in your Excel 2007 course directory in the Chapter 10 folder. Go ahead and make your product list the active file, and then when it's opened, click on the Menu tab. And notice that up here at the top of our menu, we really could use a graphic of a raspberry. So let's insert a graphic of a raspberry into our menu worksheet. So come up here to your insert tab and select that. Go ahead and click the clip art command and it will open up the clip art pane, which you see over here on my screen. Mine is already open from the previous demonstration, but to open yours, again, click the clip art command up here in the illustrations group on the insert tab. Then, in your clip art pane, go ahead and in the search for box, type in raspberry, and then click go. This will go out and search for all the images of Raspberry. Scroll through the list until you find one that you might like. I'm going to go ahead and choose Berries Dining Food and Fruits, this one right here, and when I select it, it will immediately appear in my worksheet at a very large size. So I'll bring my magnification down to a smaller size so I can work with this image easier. Select the image, so that I can see the handles and then by grabbing one of the handles with the double arrow tool and holding down my shift key to constrain this so that I don't distort the image I'll go ahead and reduce the size of this image so that it is smaller and will fit up here next to my heading I need to make it even smaller still so I'll bring it down there we go and I'll increase my magnification back up to a hundred and there is my clip art brought into my Raspberry Brigade menu. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about clip art and graphics and how to format them in the next movie.